Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady Rex here, and welcome to a reaction video that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be reacting to Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I know it's been a while since I've done a reaction video and a while since I've done a Miraculous video in general. I'm trying to catch up. So what I have here is I want to react to the episode Style Queen and Queen Wasp. And I... The episodes I have show that there is an episode in between those. I don't know if that's how they released. Um, but it looks like that episode is not going to be relevant. So uh, I will be skipping that one. Uh, I'll probably do a, an episode rundown of it. Um, but I'll be skipping that one. Um, unless it's relevant. If I find out that it's relevant, then I'll go ahead and keep it in this reaction video. But most likely it's not. And I'll just be doing the, the other two. Uh, mainly because I want to keep this relevant and the more footage I put in the harder it is to battle that it's uh, it's fair use So I want to keep it fair use keep everything relevant so I can still fall under fair use So what I predicted this episode uh, One of them I accidentally read the, the description I didn't want to and it said it was involving Chloe's mom uh, I'm hoping I'm misremembering that because I don't want that spoiled for me But when I see the word queen in the title, I'm guessing Chloe is gonna have something to do with Chloe getting her miraculous so that's why i really wanted to react to, the, to these two episodes because i'm guessing in one of these two chloe is going to get her miraculous i am hoping if that doesn't happen i'm gonna feel really stupid anyway let's go ahead and start this video fashion show of fame designer gabriel agress and a major event always brings what was the coloring of that hair they did not render that person's hair correctly it just looked like flat color we need some shades people it's very important to be shady. Just guess. Mayor of Paris, Andre Bourgeois, is expected to attend the show. Okay, so already I'm seeing a bunch of characters that... Well, I shouldn't say a bunch, but I saw recognizable characters. Not Nadia Shamak, uh, the guitar guy, and uh, What's-Her-Face, the dancer, who was in that other episode, who's always dancing and rhyming. Oh, I paused it, and Marinette has the hat she made for Adrian in Season 1 when she won that contest. Is this going to be a callback to that? That's good continuity. That's great continuity. I applaud that. Oh, Tiki, I don't know. I feel like it's the ugliest hat in the world, and Adrian is supposed to model it in front of everyone. You're a great designer, Marinette. Besides, if your hat was so ugly, why did Gabriel Agreste handpick it for his fashion show? So this is a callback to that episode. Again, just great on continuity. Keep that up. But what if people see that it's a synthetic pigeon feather and not a real one? You did the right thing replacing it. But that allergy of his, Adrian would be sneezing all the way down the catwalk. Continuity? <laughs> Where's freaking Silver Quill when you need him? This is, yes, I'm loving this. Is it? Here she comes, the international queen of fashion, director of Style Queen magazine, Audrey Bourgeois. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay, let me look at this character for a second. I am loving the design of this character. Uh, first of all, I can totally buy that. That's that's a grown up Chloe right there. That's where Chloe gets everything from. I like the color of her hair. Like I didn't think you could make that color work, but yeah, that gold on there. I like that. Um. I need to see the, the hat. It looks like the hat is pure gold as well. Um, and just her next to Chloe is just so perfect. Okay, and this, okay, so this is called Style Queen. So this is gonna be, the villain's gonna be Chloe's mother. Okay, see, I, I in one of the descriptions I read, it said something about Chloe's mother. So this is probably gonna be about Chloe's mother. Oh no, it's Audrey Bourgeois! <laughs> Only the harshest fashion critic in the entire world. I didn't know she was coming. Wait a second. So this kind of throws... Oh my... Okay. Let me get my thoughts together. So in season one, there was that thing with... Uh, what was his name? Mr. Pigeon? I want to say that episode. The episode with the pigeon. The prequel to this episode. Freaking Chloe and uh, Marinette entered a contest... It was a fashion contest. And I back then, I thought they were going to a fashion school. I thought these kids were just into fashion. And then I saw that only Marinette was really into fashion. Chloe knew about fashion, but she wasn't into it. This is really weird that her mom is a complete fashion, a high-level fashion person critique. And Chloe, like, doesn't have any interest in, in making it or knowing anything about it. Like... That's really weird. I, I, I'm having trouble forming my words right now, but it seems really weird to me that Chloe's mom is such a high fashion critique and Chloe knew very little about fashion. She was just gonna cheat off a of Marinette in that episode. 
What is this carpet? Is it fabric? Why isn't the red carpet made out of marble like I said? Because marble is tacky. Why would you want the carpet to be made out of marble? That, no, that doesn't make any sense. The texture would look horrible. So, what's in good taste this year? Judging by the way you're dressed, you obviously don't know, my dear. <laughs> okay, yeah, clearly see where they're going with this. Yep, just like I said before, they're gonna be like, oh, Chloe gets it all from her mother, and uh, it, I've seen this done so many times to me. It kind of ruins the character when they do this, when they said they get their attitude from their parents. Which, yeah, you know, how you're raised is going to have a big deal on how you behave. It's just, I like characters to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time wording this without just sounding like a really bad critic. But I feel like a character loses a part of themselves when they say, when they say it's all due to their parents. Like, yes, their parents should play some part into how they're raised. Whoever raised them should play some part into their personality. That's just natural. But a lot of times what they do with bully characters, they try to blame everything on the parent. And it's like they're their own character. And this is going to sound really weird, but not in every instance is bullying a bad thing. You need a really strong-willed person to take care of certain situations. That's why I say bullies in, in certain instances are, bullies are great examples of a change of perspective because in certain instances to the person they're picking on, they are horrible. But then you put them in other circumstances and you see that that attitude they have, that want to, that desire to get what they want can be a good thing. <clears throat> Some people are going to hate me for saying that. For your information, the trend this year is glitter. Okay, I have no idea what real fashion designers are like, but this lady is, she's instantly lost me. <laughs> like, you would think I was such a big fan of Chloe, I would really enjoy an adult version of Chloe, but that, I think this that whole marble carpet comment. I was like, that no, that was a horrible choice. Clara, uh, Chloe, what is this? Um, it's a gift? <sighs> this wrapping paper is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. You're fired. You can't fire Chloe. She's your daughter. Audrey, how long are you planning to stay in Paris? The shortest possible time. Thank you. This fashion show just might be one of the most important in Gabriel Agreste's career. They are throwing a lot of factors in here. Jeez. Ugh. My head doesn't know what to make of all this. This is an important day for Gabriel. It's a, a, Chloe is hanging on her mom's beck and call and her mom just insults her and she just like took it happily like you know there was no sign of sadness or anything where are you going you heard audrey bourgeois right they can't let adrian model this hat there's no glitter on it if marinette changes her hat i'm gonna be so ticked like i don't care if it, if she changes it something better I'm, I'm just gonna be ticked because that's you already had a, a style picked out it was selected everyone was happy about it like you're gonna change it for one I guess she is the main judge, but still, like, ah. Uh. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Mom, this is Marinette Dupin Chang, the loser. And this is a hat she made because she thinks she's a designer. She even signed it. Look. Okay, crucial moment. Because it was established that this hat was so fashionable that Gabriel approved of it. So, and Gabriel knows what he's talking about. So, will Chloe's mom side with Chloe because she's Chloe? Probably not. We've seen that she doesn't side with Chloe just because she's Chloe. Or will she side with Marinette's good fashion senses? And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she's going to lean towards Marinette and that's going to create conflict. But let's see where this goes. Okay. Leaving me in suspense there. <laughs> Adrian! Oh, it's been so long since I've seen an episode. I miss my people. It's not too hard to fix it. Oh, you know, it doesn't really matter. This hat is a complete failure anyway. What? No, it's not. Why would you say that? Oh, Adrian's about to do his magic trick. Actually, no, this is something Cat Noir did. Has Adrian done this before? What I'm talking about is Cat Noir has the pap. In the Origins episode, I don't know if he's done it since, he was able to boost Marinette's uh, confidence. Normally, Adrian's words can boost Marinette's confidence anyway, just because it's Adrian. Um, but when he says things from the heart as Cat Noir in that Origins episode, he was able to boost her. So I want to see if they, they call back to that. 
Lucy. <laughs> you got that catwalk down. Really? Thank you. Wow. Okay, so he the look he had, it was slight. It was like a slight second. I'm shocked they didn't hold on that look. And I'm, I'm very happy they didn't. She looks nervous. No doubt. It's her first fashion show with her first professional beat. It just dawned on me this is Marinette's first fashion show. The part in me that loves entrepreneurship and people following their dreams is so happy right now. But I must contain my smooth, shady do-rag's composure. How dilapidated is this place? And I have to share the front row with this group of lowlifes? Ridiculous! Utterly ridiculous! Uh, sorry, but that seat is reserved for Marinette. Mmm. Oh, this is the wrong crowd. Oh, uh, Alia doesn't, uh, Alia doesn't get bullied. <laughs> so... Mrs. Bourgeois, Mr. Agrest has reserved a seat for you. Ah, uh, finally! In the second row. What?! My mother always sits in the front row. Not today. I feel like Gabriel's trying to instigate stuff. I mean, he's Hawk Moth, so <laughs> if, uh, if he gets somebody upset, you know, that's just a, a win for him. <laughs> Oh, jeez, but Nadia played that part. Nadia, not Nadia. Ah, I forget Adrian's assistant's name. Without me, he'd still be drawing his unworldly designs in his dismal, cramped studio. I can offer your seat to someone else if you don't want it. How dare you? You're fired! I don't work for you, I work for Mr. Agrest. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's... That's just how you deal with brats, man. Just... As a matter of fact, it's like, I'm not going to give you what you want, but I'm still going to stay polite about it. I'm sorry. It took some time, I know. But today, I can feel my prey has more malice in her than anyone I've ever akumatized before. She will be my masterpiece. Good girl! Oh, jeez! Adrian's mom! Whoa! I didn't expect that! I was, I was going to pause to to just be like, oh, I told you, sorry, I told you. He was trying to make her an Akuma because he's gay, bro, and I'm smart. But, but I paused it right when it cut to a frame of Adrian's mom. Oh, I didn't expect that. Sympathize with him. He's not evil just for the sake of being evil. Even though once upon a time, his secret dream was to rule the world. Please leave a message. <laughs> I assume from your expression that I'm not fired. Natalie. Is, oh my goodness. Oh, Natalie is, is, is killing it this episode. Does that music sound different? That did not sound like the normal Hawk Moth music. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize this wonderfully vile queen. Okay, so a current theme that has been throughout the show was that Chloe has caused a lot of Akumas to happen. And I've complained about that, but they they actually are working that to their favor because they're saying that Chloe causes so much trouble wherever she goes. They've acknowledged that, that she creates people for Hawk Moth. And she's getting that from her mother, who Hawk Moth just said has so much malice in her. It's more than he's ever seen in any Akuma, any person he's ever Akumatized. So... Yeah, they're they're taking the complaints I had and they're using it to their advantage of storytelling. I think that's that's how you do something without just retconning it. Like I can't stand retconning and people just ignore what they've written before. No, you you work with it and you try to work it into the story. I feel like the fact that he said that she has so much more malice, like that's kind of foreshadowing that maybe she's gonna be too much for Hawk Moth to handle. Maybe, we'll see. <gasps> Where's that ungrateful Gabriel Agrest? I demand that he kneels before me. My father isn't here. Well then, if fashion disaster daddy isn't here, I'll just have to settle for Agrest Jr. Yeah, I, I was thinking, Adrian, that wasn't the smartest thing to say. I mean, I'm pretty sure she already knows you're Gabriel's son. But if a supervillain comes and says, where is this person? You really should not be shouting. I, the person that they care about most, am related to said person, and I announced that they are not here at this current time. It's too bad there's no way you could get them to come here. You're fired! Oh. 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 
Okay. Um, so, not that Cat Noir hasn't been taken out before, but before he can even become Cat Noir. Jeez. We're really keeping that trend going of Cat Noir being useless. She has just ticked off all the main characters of this episode. Marinette's not going to be happy. Gabriel's not going to be happy. And Chloe's not going to be happy. <laughs> Adrian, we no longer have a choice. Style Queen, you must defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir as soon as possible. Okay, I'm very happy that Gabriel reacted to that. I'm very happy about that. Do you want to be fired too? No, no, I really don't, Style Queen. Uh, besides, don't you need an assistant? Hmm, I did fire my last one this morning. I feel like I'm being really hypocritical because I, I'm still loving Chloe's character. You know, the, the bratty Chloe. But Style Queen seems to have gone past. Like, I, I don't care about her that much. Um, Style Queen. Wait, is that her name? I, <laughs> I, yeah, that is her name. Okay, I didn't even <laughs> realize I, rec I already remembered her name. Um, but, yeah, I, I, it's just interesting. Like, I want to say this is Chloe's usual despicable behavior. Where she would just help the supervillain. But Chloe doesn't really help anyone. Like, period. And she's always talking down to everyone. Superheroes, supervillains, regular people, everyone. So, it, it kind of speaks to her character that she really wants to please her mom more than anyone else. But the yo-yo makes a strong comeback this year. <laughs> oh! Okay. Mom, a uh, style queen! Mm -hmm. If you want to find Gabriel Agrest, I know where he lives. You can take care of Ladybug later. She's worthless anyway. Hmm. It's not a completely idiotic idea. Good job, Chloe! Where is Gabriel Agrest? He usually never leaves his house. Style Queen, he's hidden safely somewhere. Ladybug is protecting him. <laughs> she can barely protect herself. Okay, I'm really gonna applaud like the, the geniusness of these plans. Not the genius, it's just the good common sense of these plans. It's like... Hawk Moth knew she was looking for Gabriel, and he just made it so her priority would no longer be Gabriel. It would be Ladybug. Like, they, Chloe shifted the priority, and then Hawk Moth shifted it back. Like, I'm really liking this. <gasps> Wait, where did, where did the coffin thing come from? Psst. Ladybug! Hurry up! Adrikins is crumbling! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is he crumbling? <laughs> oh, we had to have a ticking timer, I guess. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. Jeez. It's really impossible to find qualified staff these days. You're fired! <laughs> I feel really sad about that. A mallet? I thought it was a flashlight. It didn't work the first 50 times, but I bet you it'll work this time. You can't even touch me! <laughs> of course! Master Fu! Okay, no, I'm sick and tired of the Lucky Charm doing that. I knew it was gonna do that, and it still upset me. Because I was trying to figure out what she could do with a mallet. I, I can't stand that when it's like, oh, you'll think of an item that the Master has. It's, uh, it, I mean, it, it's consistent with the Master, but still, it's it's just dumb. Cat Noir has disappeared. I can't beat Style Queen without him. Uh, you have, uh, Rena Rouge. Go get her. Well, what's he doing then? Why isn't he helping me? Oh, it, it doesn't feel good, does it? Does it, Marinette? It doesn't feel good when somebody else has a secret that they don't want to tell you and you need their help. It kind of sucks, doesn't it? As a result, he's lost his ring, and it's just me that's able to help you out. <gasps> no, it's out of the question, Plague. You are way too dangerous without an owner. Oh, it's a good thing we have Rena Rouge. She's still a thing. Do you have someone in mind, Marinette? I know just the right person. <sighs> Excitement. I'm excited. Why, the red spotted cockroach is coming back. But she forgot her frightful feline in black. <laughs> that rhymed. 
Alia Cesare, here's the Miraculous of the Bee, which grants the power of subjection. No! No, you don't just get to have more than one Miraculous. No! Give up! Watch out! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I like Alia, but no. <laughs> she she doesn't get to wear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been waiting too freaking long for Chloe to get her miraculous. A tube of glue. Oh, duh. Glitter. <laughs> How did I not figure that out? Oh, I feel really dumb. Do you have indigestion? How dare you? I'm gonna squash you like the nasty bug you are! Has nobody made that pun yet? Is she the first one to do it? Squash you like the bug you are? Come on, this is, it's a Spider-Man classic. My, my, what do we have here? A talking rat! Meow, style faux pas. I am, I, I cannot tell you how happy I am that Plague is there because I'm sick of these people listening to that old man. He does not know what he's talking about. He is pretending to be wise. Cataclysm! Wait a minute. The Kwame can use their powers? I thought the whole point was that they needed a human host. Uh... What am I doing here? You're all fired. Found it. I hope Cat Noir finds his miraculous. Don't worry, I'll be on him like mold on cheese. So, what was the point of her getting the comb? Like, I can see her lucky charm pointing to Master Fu, saying she needed plague. Why did Master Fu give her the comb? Oh, could it be Master Fu has no idea what he's talking about? Style Queen was my greatest masterpiece. How could she have failed? How could I have failed? Style Queen was your greatest masterpiece? Really? Marinette, aren't you forgetting something? You have to bring the Miraculous back to Master Fu. But the Magic Ladybugs already brought it back, didn't they? <laughs> Why didn't the Magic Ladybugs bring it back? I guess they it wasn't broken. Marinette, there you are. Uh, We've been looking for you everywhere in the Grand Palais. Are you okay, sweetie? Uh, I'm fine. Good gravy. That man's hands are bigger than his daughter's torso. Golly. Wreck it, wreck it, Ralph, as fast as you can. The yellow, so much of it. Hello, my queen. Okay. Mm all right. So you don't know how excited that made me. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So first of all, I've decided that uh, I'm not going to do the second episode today. Uh, in this video, I'm, I'm just going to stick to this episode. Um, I didn't know they were going to be that disjointed, but I will do a reaction to the next Queen episode. <laughs> um, but I, I really want to talk about just that episode right there, because there was so much going on in that episode. I, I honestly feel I need to talk about it by itself. So, this episode, um, geez louise, there's so much going on here, freaking... Gabriel's involved, Chloe's mom's involved, Marinette was going through some stuff, Adrian was going through just a little bit of personal stuff. Okay. I highly enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Um, I've been waiting forever for Chloe to get her freaking miraculous. I love how that ended. I loved how that ended. Just the thing comes out, my queen. That's, ah, that's great. That is great. Um, the villain, he's saying that that was like his greatest creation. I don't know. I feel like she was just as generic as certain other people. Like, Rapace was also invincible. Um, couldn't be hurt. Uh, uh, Mr. Mime, I felt, did a really good job with what he was doing. I mean, he could create anything out of anywhere. Timebreaker could go back in time. So, I mean, she had to drain the life force from people. But to say that that was his greatest creation, I don't know. Uh... 
they once again took Cat Noir out of the picture, but with all that went on in that episode, I'm not that upset with that. Uh, it's I'm kind of used to it by now, and it kind of did need to happen in this episode because Ladybug did need to... I mean, I don't know if I'll say it needed to happen, but I'm not mad that it did happen. So, my brain is just stuck on that last moment because I've been waiting so long for Chloe to get her miraculous. And I can see why there's an episode in between now because the events, uh, which is why I'm going to hold off before I do a reaction to part two, the events of this episode don't really seem to be that connected to what's going to happen in part two. Um, I'll have to see part two before I decide that, but um, I kind of want to. I kind of want to digest what I just went through. Um, so, uh, yeah, I highly enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know if I call it an insta fate, but I, I love so much about it. It's honestly hard to get my mind straight with everything that just happened in that episode. I was really enticed into it and to to the point where I was like, "Wait, this is a reaction video. I'm supposed to be reacting to it, commenting on it." Like I was just sitting there, like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> uh, but I do want to stress that Master Fu just uh, sucks. He 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 doesn't know what he's what he's doing. Um, and I bet you they're gonna come come up with something like, oh, he knew she was gonna lose it, and it, it was gonna fall in the hands of Chloe, even though that doesn't make any sense because Chloe is not a nice person. And before he was looking for nice people, and she was about to give that thing to to Alia, like. Just gonna, Alia is just gonna be the spare person from now on. Like anytime we need a special power, we're gonna go straight to Alia. Like Marinette's bias. <laughs> Marinette's very biased. But I highly enjoyed that. I highly enjoyed that, and I'm looking forward to getting back into Miraculous. Season three is out um, on Netflix, so I can watch it. And I'm gonna do my best to to catch up. Uh, like I said, I will do a reaction video to part two. Uh, I gotta get through the next episode, which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with this. So that'll be a normal uh, episode right now. And then I'll do another reaction to part two. And I should have more time to do these uh, now because the move has been pushed back. And I have a new rendering process, which allows me to render render footage a lot faster, which was the longest part of making these videos. It was rendering footage. So I should be fine on that front. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited to get some more miraculous content. It will be coming back. And I will see you guys in the next episode. This has been Shady Durags. So long. Farewell. Avidasen. Goodbye.